Thank you. I always do that. It's on now. It's on now. Man, I, I don't know what I'm doing up here. I, I brought the wrong machine, but we're going to try to do it anyway. If I can do it without it falling down. <clears throat> anyway, today, uh, what, what's that? I know, that's what I did. <laughs> I throw that up underneath there. Anyway, we've been, we've been talking, uh, you know, I, I wanted to give something... Uh, as far as finishing up our series, we've been in the series of the kingdom of God and uh, we've been on a pretty good journey, right? We've kind of went through a whole lot of things, right? We learned that from the beginning, God's kingdom has always been on God's mind. It's always been on God's mind. He is our king and we are his kingdom, right? But the problem is, is we look around the craziness that's going on in the world today, right? Everything that's just going on. God in, shows us in a, in a weird place a ray of sunshine, okay? He, he gives us some uh, good news poking its head through the clouds of despair. God's kingdom was in the Old Testament. God's kingdom was in the New Testament, God's kingdom is here right now. And God's kingdom is going to reign forever and ever and ever. At the end of our life, at the end of this old world, there will only be one person, one entity left sitting on a throne anywhere, right? And that one is God with Jesus by his side. I want to finish off our series with one last reading, okay? One last reading. It's going to get bad. It's going to get worse. But then it's going to get better. If you've never read the end of God's book, go ahead and turn with me this morning to a book called Revelation. A book called Revelation, okay? We're going to read in chapter 5, Revelation chapter 5. And you're going to see that God tells us, plain and simple, don't worry, children. Don't worry, people. Whatever it may look like on the outside, whatever you may see going on in the world around you, guess what? We win. We win. Revelation chapter 5. We're going to start off in verse 1. I'm going to read this through. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to cut back on the commentary. <laughs> and we're going to read this through. And, uh, and then the Onis are going to come up and uh, bless us with some singing. All right. So Revelation chapter 5, verse 1. It's the end here of our lessons on the kingdom of God. And I saw... And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on a throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much. Because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Well, when we get to looking around us and we look at the world going on and the junk that's going on in this world, man, we, we, we want to weep. We want to cry for this world. He says, do not weep. Behold. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as though uh, it had been slaughtered, it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out to all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls of full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song.
saying you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us, now listen to this people, kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard a voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea, all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne, that would be God, and to the Lamb, that would be Jesus, forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshipped him who lives forever and ever. Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he was out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. Another horse, fiery red, went out, and it was granted to the one who sat on it to take Peace from the earth. People, we look around us and right now and peace is being removed from this earth. And the people should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked and behold, a black horse. And he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And people, if you don't understand, this is coming right now. Okay, this is coming right now. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius. And do not harm the oil and the wine. We're about to see some price increases across the country. I guarantee it. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death. And Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth, to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beast of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the, fo the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God, for the testimony which he held. And they cried out with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth. Then a white robe was given to each of them. And it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were completed. <clears throat> I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, are you hearing this, people? Every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? After these things I saw four angels at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or any tree. Then I saw another angel ascend from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea saying do not harm the earth the sea or the trees till we have sealed 
<sighs> Praise God. Amen. Until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard a number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Simon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. After these things, I looked and behold, a great multitude. People, that's us. That's us, okay? A great multitude which no one could number of all nations, tribes, people, and tongues standing before the throne and, the, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and the elders and the four living creatures, and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Well, good morning. Good morning. We're just glad to be here. I want to thank the pastor for allowing us to come and minister in song. And we're glad to see you. I was hoping to see a lot of my family this morning and uh, didn't get to see them. So we just prayed for them and we're glad that they're going to be okay. And uh, uh, I feel like I'm home. I didn't even put my, I didn't even change my other shoes. I feel comfortable in these. I said, I'm home. I don't need to change no shoes. So we used to coming in our camper so we could change clothes. So we had to drive this morning. But we're glad to be here. And how many gets up and says, Lord, I hope this day's good. You know, when we put Christ first, it will be good. Lord, have you forgotten 
sensitive ears and I can hear anything but so if it's too loud just holler at him but you know we need to be ready because one day he's coming back in there and he's coming back soon I mean we see the signs pastor preached on it so be ready that's the main thing don't be afraid because we got Jesus and he covers us in the blood I get up every day and I ask the Lord cover my kids in the blood of Jesus and they don't get this awful virus. And you know, he's kept us. He's kept us through a lot. I just love the Lord. I'm glad to be here and glad for the invite. But, but he's coming back. Let me say this. I feel really old. <laughs> I'll look at my, my cane and my... Because she said she heard us when we first started. We five songs at our home church. Twelve years old. That's a long time ago. Well, our grandson said we're old as dirt, so well, I guess we are. <laughs> but you know how I look at that? We are blessed because God's kept us through a lot of things. But when we first started, we had a five-piece band, four singers, and all the kids we can carry on the bus. We had a bus load when we traveled. We did. <laughs> oh. But anyway, we're glad to be here this morning. Thank you for having us. Take place right out of the blue. 
in here don't you and it just gets sweeter and sweeter all the time Heaven, on my way to heaven, 
everyone's on their way to heaven this morning because one day he's going to say welcome home that's when we'll step inside that gate and we'll be home this isn't our home we're just passing through so one day we're going to be a part of Jesus yeah. now you can play that song <laughs> We got Jesus. 
Jesus, we can do anything, can't we? As long as he's living in our heart and putting him first in your life. Doesn't mean everything is going to be just great, but he'll help you through no matter what situation you're in. It's always there. He sees me through a lot of things. I lost, uh, I'm from a big family. I'm the youngest of 18 children. There was two sets of twins in our family. I had a twin brother. He uh, worked many, many years in Michigan, but he didn't, it, the work, and they said that where he worked at caused cancer. And he died at a young age. And I never understood it. I thought, God, all my brothers and sisters, most of them, is, by any word, 
10 or 15, some's even 20 years old tonight. Why did you take my brother? But you know, he never told me. God's never told me. He's never told me why. But you know he'll answer my questions when I get up there. You know there's a reason why things happen. And we question God. If you're human, you do. You don't, you shouldn't. We shouldn't, we should trust God. But we still got that little doubt. But one day, this little song, if I can remember it and keep from crying when I say it. I sung one, we sung them anyway. <laughs> I mean, you know, and we told them they sung it their way, and we'll sing it our way. That well, was before I joined them. I write songs. And, and I was getting ready to say that. I was in charge of all my brothers and sisters that played in the band and everything. I was in charge of everything. And then they all passed, some of them passed away, so they moved on to different things. My son, he's a social pastor down in Millersboro. He played drums for us and everything. And, and then I didn't have nobody but me. So Lord, I says, I was going and quit. He said, no, you're not done. Amen. So I looked at her and she wouldn't, wouldn't talk. She wouldn't do anything. She's about as shy as all outdoors. She's from Kentucky. And I'm from Kentucky, but anyway, they don't make you shy. But people, they do. Sometimes they just don't want to talk. They hold it to themselves. When you lived back in a holler where you had to pump sunshine in to find you, you were shy. You didn't see very many people. Now, 
I let her have a little bit of each way. Now, I'm, you see where I'm at? I'm back in the corner. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> I'm back in the corner. She just took over. Your old as dirt. Didn't you hear that this morning? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we've been, we're blessed. Let me we show really this are. Short. We're blessed. We're, we're not in time. We're in time, but not on time. We're in time. <laughs> uh, they said I never sing again. The doctor said, so "I have vocal cords. I have to be worked on and everything." But not a couple of years ago, I was sitting in my chair, couldn't talk. I thought I had laryngitis. Went to the doctor, and he said, "No, you don't have laryngitis." I couldn't even say nothing. I mean, like. And then all of a sudden, I get like a Christian. I start complaining about everything. <laughs> I complain about this. I complain about that. You know how Christians are. They do that. God don't want <laughs> not to complain. To. <laughs> but we're not supposed to, but we do it anyway. The weather's too hot. Look at the yard. How, 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 look at that. It's all yellow. We complain about everything. God don't want us to complain. I got in that mood one day. I started sitting there complaining about this and complaining about that. And all of a sudden, she looked over me and she said, I don't understand you. You're sitting here in a warm house. It was, I mean, it was snowing. I mean, the garage was froze shut. I couldn't even get the garage because I like to go out and work on my equipment a little bit. I couldn't even get in the garage door because it was froze shut. She said, I don't understand you. You're sitting here in your warm house, sitting in your favorite chair, drinking your lemonade, and watching Hoppy Long Cassidy. What more do you want? I said, you don't understand. I, I, I got to be doing something. I said, I can get on my phone right here and I can put us in here and we'd be in Florida in a couple hours. She said, Dad, we're going to go down there. Of course, to get ready to go on a cruise. We'll be going down. That don't make no sense to go down there and come back and go back and come back out because we're getting ready to go on a cruise in a couple of weeks. I said, you don't understand either, but I, I just can't take it. And she started arguing back and forth. Then she gets the tablet that she's got with the grandson and she's wiping it off, you know. Uh, he puts his fingerprints all over it and everything. And she wishes everybody a happy birthday. When you get a happy birthday, it's coming from her. I mean, I don't have time to do it, but she does. She says, I don't do nothing. But anyway, she's cleaning, <laughs> she's cleaning it off and all. No more dinners for him. <laughs> all of a sudden, it came up on that screen. Big, bold letters. It says, you two, stop complaining to each other. You know what? That got my attention really quick. Didn't say you should, you ought to, whatever. It said, you too, stop your complaining to each other. I looked at her and I started grinning just a little bit. I said, you put that on there, didn't you? She said, no, Dad, I did not. You know, she said, I did not put it on there. So we got talking a few more minutes. Everybody knows whatever you put on Facebook, you can go back and get it. I said, find that again. I like to see that from this day forth. We haven't found that yet. Now we don't even complain. We just start laughing. <laughs> Every time it happens, we just start laughing. So, so God don't want us to complain, but we get in that mood sometimes and we just, I mean, it's natural. It's natural to us. But God said, He's here. Just like a lot of people today, I talked to the pastor this morning, but they're fearful of coming to church because they're afraid. God says, he don't want you to be afraid. He said, I'll put a shield around you if I have to. But we're afraid of going to church. Hello? Now, he said, don't be stupid or ignorant. And there's some people that way. But he said, I'll put a shield around you. I'll protect you. And we've got to have faith in him. How many knows that? Amen. 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 Well, I don't know why I said all that. <laughs> Her name is Beulah. My name is Dave. That's what I want. <laughs> never had a bad day, never had a sad day, nothing ever going to try. Give it all the genes of the lead down the lead, and soon they find the answer inside. Jesus, stand up, and I'll give the power. I'll stand up, tell us all around, and stand up, and I'll testify. Here's the power. 
sing again and you know we sing a lot of years with all these brothers and sisters and I used to write a lot of songs and took care of all the kids on the bus and whatever else I had to do now she took over somebody he had to save the best for last that's what he did uh, but uh, you know we're just thankful that the Lord is allowing him to sing you know he, he loves to sing and so I don't think he's doing too bad, do you? <laughs> so we just did a new project called So Little Time. We're not going to sing any of the songs today. We don't even have everything quite finalized on it, but should be here by Christmas. And we have so little time. Just look around, people. Just look around. Just be ready. You know, the songs we sang today, he's coming right out of the blue. Be ready. Be ready when he comes. You won't have to worry about nothing. You can lay down at night and just be relaxed. Just go to peace. When I lay down at night, I'm at peace. I might have some bones ache every once in a while. Kind of makes it hard to go to sleep. But at peace of mind, I have. I just give it to Jesus. Just give it to the Lord. That's what it's all about. That shows him that we trust him. When we turn stuff over to him, we're telling him that we trust him. Are we going to sing a couple more songs? Yep. Yep. Okay. Maybe two more. We'll sing a couple more. Break four. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to sing it when he came out. She loves it now. She sells more CDs than I do. Well, she loves it. She loves it. She sells more CDs than I Sitting on the front porch with coffee in a row. Sitting on the front porch talking to the Lord. Sitting on the front porch thinking about my heavenly home. Yeah. Sitting on the front porch, that's how I start my day. Sitting on the front porch. Sitting on the front porch, that's how I 
going to sing one more song. And uh, well, we want to thank you for having us. Having us. Appreciate us. Appreciate being I'm, here. I'm sorry I got started off the wrong foot, but she caused every bit of it. <laughs> to me, I'll I'm take perfect. the blame. I'll I take it. Thank you. I can't get more perfect <laughs> than what I am. She caused every bit of it. I'll, sure. I'll, I'll take the blame. But while we're singing this song, you know, if anybody here, um, Pastor said, just go ahead and pray and altar call and pray over the food and everything. But what we're going to do is, uh, while we're singing this song. This is a new song. Uh, anybody needs prayer for their body? I mean, you know, I look around, I'd say everybody here knows Jesus. Everybody here is safe. But it doesn't hurt to walk up to this altar and bend them old knees down. Or just, if you can't bend down, just come up and just pray for each other. So if you feel like you need prayer to, this morning, you don't have to now. I'm just asking you. Just giving you an open invitation. If you want to come up, you want to pray, we'll pray with you guys. This then, whole world needs a lot of prayer. And then we'll pray over the food back there. And we we had to watch the pastor all morning. They said, keep an eye on me. <laughs> because he will, he will be back there. So everybody kept an eye on him all morning. So I'm sure there's something good back there. So I was in the office with him, talking with him. I bet there's everybody was here. Are you okay? You're not going to place, are you? <laughs> Come and check on me. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So, it's great. Appreciate you having us. Enjoy being here. And remember the things. I, I haven't forgotten about it, but I have in the way back of my mind. I mean, it's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> five songs, five songs, and now I got a computer here. We got thousands of songs. And then we can't eat. Eat. Yeah, tell you. <laughs> that's probably only about six or seven. Oh no, oh, we're getting older all by the minute. We're getting older by the minute. Now I wasn't singing with them. There, I come along a little bit later on. He's the one's older. Oh, hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's, I'm older than he is. That was our home church. That's the reason and, I got to say so. Got started singing. Uh, I tell you what. Uh, it was fun because we love country music. How many loves country music? Yeah. We were singing country music and we were singing up in Dayton on a, a college college up on the hillside for a, a party. Somebody a booked us in there. We was having a good time. I mean, I was playing the drums and everything, singing, you know, and all that stuff, having a good time. All of a sudden, this lady comes up. Backs the truck up behind me. I'm like, what's she doing with the truck behind me? She got out of the truck and she said, load them up now. You're done. Bye. You ain't never singing country again. <laughs> I had bad. two small boys. They've been raised different. They had, bad, eh? their, their father was a pastor. And I, I looked said, at her and she looked at me and she goes, like that. I said, you're done. <laughs> I loaded them up and they left there. They wanted them to stay all day. I said, I just felt that's bad. They left. I didn't get to sing my best song. <laughs> so God changes things. He can change it if you want him to. You got to let him. He'll, you know, he people say, Well, why does certain things happen? Because you're letting the devil defeat you. You can't God can't do nothing. It's a free will thing. You gotta ask God. You gotta go to Jesus and you gotta ask. Or he'll just let it keep on happening. He gives you what you want. But let me tell you this. She just said that. Uh, we're, we're killing a little bit of time. No, we ain't right. killing no on time. Jesus. Your when time's I first up. met this lady, I looked at her and I said, honey, I think I love you. In Sarasville, Kentucky. And I said, if you marry me, I'll take you to places that you've never been. I'll let you see places you've never been. At the time, I worked for IGA. I was a box boy at IGA. <laughs> I said, on a box boy's pay, we're going to do all this stuff. <laughs> take her to places she's never been. And ask her where she's been. Been to Alaska twice. She's been to St. Mary, uh, St. Thomas, St. Martin. She's been all the places. We've been a lot of, we've went on a lot of places and a lot of so places. So you got to watch out what you say sometimes. <laughs> God will bring it true. I mean, he knows that. If you God, take it to him, that's what you got to do. Ask God, God he'll, he'll, he'll take care of you. The problem is, we feel like we're unworthy. I mean, he knows that. We do sometimes. Let's pray over the food and then we'll sing. Go ahead. You want to pray, Pastor? You want you you go ahead. You go ahead and say the blessing over the food. Everybody, uh, does anybody got anything they want to say before we? 
before we do this. Well, I'd just like to thank the Aaron's for coming. Thank you. I'm glad to see you again. Lifting us up to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't tell me everything. Tracy didn't even know the only one to do was talk. Uh -oh. <clears throat> so it started a year ago today. I went on a blind, well, semi blind date. We knew what each other looked like. We hadn't met yet. Um, but that blind date changed my life. And now I'm engaged to him. And so I figured just about a year ago, why we started coming to church here. So I figured I would make it official on our one year anniversary and become members of the church. Amen. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Good. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful. <laughs> Church, both my grandfathers were preachers. Um, I was baptized when I was 12, so, so that's all been done. We were just looking That's for, I, I had several family members that have been trying to push me back in the church, and I'm like, no, because I can never find a church where I honestly, truly believe I fit in. Amen. And she found a country hidden. <laughs> <laughs> she took a long time to rip we, we get, I get a lot of questions going, you drive how far? <laughs> um, we actually, my kids and I, we actually live in Kentucky, in northern Kentucky. So we drive up here every Sunday, and I drive up by myself every Wednesday for, for Wednesday night service. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and I drive up this way, who knows how many other times during the week to go to the shop or come up to do whatever with Vaughn and Jamaica and Chris and whatnot. So, so she's I've got some to, miles on my yes. car. <laughs> Yep. Amen. So she is coming to join the church this Amen. morning. Amen. Amen. Anybody in favor, say aye. 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 Amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't ask that. <laughs> Let's give her a good hand clap. Come on. Amen. 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 Let's uh Let's go to the Lord in prayer real quick, and they'll sing us out to go eat. Lord, just thank you for this time to go that we've been able to just worship you, and just uh, thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. We want to pray over the food that we're about to eat, and uh, that Lord, let it nourish our bodies, and let us have good worship back here together as a uh, part of one family, because that's what we are. Amen. We're just thank one big Jesus. family meeting together and just having a good time. Lord, just thank you for all of that. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I have to say this. She said that it was a blind date, whatever it was. When That's I first how met we this, met. I, blind date. Yeah, I met this lady it was. So what I've done, I had a date with her and I had a date with another girl the same <laughs> night. So I took them both to the picture show. I put one on one side of the seating and nothing on the other side. And all evening, I went back with some books. I was having a good time. <laughs> had a He's girl telling over. the truth. I had a girl oh, over there, and a girl over there, man, I was funny. And just for the picture showing off, I said, girls, I got to go. Mom called me, I got to go home. And I got out. <laughs> you wasn't a Christian, you No. Oh, no. <laughs> he just didn't get enough weapons when his dad was alive. <laughs> I thought that was really good. <laughs> and then the best part about it, I went to Paceville and I stayed out all night. And with mother thought I was out with her. Oh, she was really down, boy. She's down. <laughs> mother talked really bad about this lady till she found out who she was. If I didn't if I didn't come home at a certain hour, I would have been beat to death. And besides, I was never allowed in a car with a boyfriend except with That's my twin it. brother. Wasn't that she didn't trust me? She didn't trust people saying something bad about you, and that's, how she, that's how she raised us. That's how she raised us. Sing. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to zip his mouth up before he tells anything else. We're so glad to be here. I've got an offer for you, 
my friend, this offer may not be repeated again. A chance for a lifetime, guaranteed. If you call him now, he give you life eternally. A plan is so simple, a child could understand, yet it's really fun every woman and man. A chance for a lifetime, guaranteed, call on him now, he give you life eternally. The offer still stands. You. He's holding out his hands, the salvation's plan, the offer still stands. Wait, hunger number, you'll never need, you can always find him down on your knees, trust in the Savior. Hold up his hand and ask him to save you while you still can. The offer still stands. He's waiting for you. He's holding out his hands. The salvation's plan. The offer still stands. The offer still stands. He's waiting for you. He's holding out his hands. The salvation's plan. The offer still stands. He's holding out his hands. The salvation's plan. The offer still stands. Earlier, you need to pray. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Let us introduce you to him. You don't know who we're talking about, and we appreciate everybody being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know what you went through to get here. A lot of stuff on your mind. Well, this and that. But the fear is what killing the Christianity. And as Christians, if we don't stay together, you won't have this. Hello. You won't have this. And it's coming. We talked about it this morning. It's coming. So we have to band together and hold together. Because it is your right to be a Christian. Because the devil, he came to what? To kill and destroy. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to destroy his people, God's people. Pastor, appreciate you. Thank you. All right, now we got food back.